Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I'm going to pair an American Lock 5200s. First, I already have the uh, this one uh, gutted, what was originally the internals here. We're going to pick open the US made one over here. And uh, gut this one, show you how it picks. Um, in the past, <clears throat> I actually think I had another 5200 other than this one over here. And in the past, I thought, in my opinion, 5200s were um, much easier than the 11 hundreds and 1105s so let's see if that's still true for it click out of two That was a slip, that was nothing. Not feeling anything. A little click on three there. Click on one. There we go, two. Maybe I have too much pressure on. Sorry about that focus. There we go. It was five in the back there. So there we go. They're open. Um, you know, it didn't feel too bad. That honestly felt much easier than most locks to me. I'm going to go ahead and lock it back up with these. They are key retaining in the sense that you need to have the shackle closed in order to turn our core back that way. So there we go. So we'll go ahead and remove it. Same sentiment. Um, you have to have the key turned in order to have access to the screw to remove it. <clears throat> there we go. Once we get there, we pull. Oh, shoot. Thought we had it. Come on up. Yay, thank you. So we're there. Then we want to put the shackle back in order so we can remove the key. There we go. And there is our. Get that gutted here. I will fast forward to this part to save a little bit of time. <clears throat> All right, we have it gutted, and here are the pins. You can see that the um, all the key pins are just normal. They are um, non serrated key pins, and typically American Lux have that. And we just had spools in the top right here, and then standard on the left hand side. Uh, you're not used to seeing standards inside of American Lock. Now I'll show you the difference between the two. So this was the US made one over here. Over here, I don't know where this one was made. Um, it's stamped US in the back. So I'm not sure where this one was made. This one is actually said US made. 
and um, that's not too much difference between this. This one's a little bit shinier, etc. Um, the internals, though, the plug and uh, core itself are completely different between the two. And so, the one on the right, the non-US made stamped one, is kind of looks like a master lock internal core. It just looks really cheap, and on the back, it is crimped shut. There is not a C-clip like there would be on this one to hold it shut. This one is actually crimped, and you can see it on the left and the right-hand side right there, that little bit of what looks to be damage. That's what keeps the um, plug into the Bible and the core itself right there. Another point to notice is that the... Um, Key weight was different as well, which surprised me. I uh, had trouble finding the key. Luckily, I had just one. And the uh, key weight on this one is an M11, whereas this one is the AM5, typical American lock key. But yeah, an M11 key over here. You can see <coughs> here is the key that I cut for this lock. And the pins are now um, actually... There we go. The pins are actually now uh, typical American lock type of pins, whereas before, when I gutted it, this was the most interesting part of it. It had all standard, and then what looked to be a barrel type of um, uh, really sharp edges on the top and bottom. Let's see if I can zoom in on it at all. But a barrel type of pin. There we go. So you can see you have very sharp edges, and so sharp even, actually. This was um, in pin, uh, the barrel pin was in chamber number one over here inside this body. And uh, when I first picked this lock, the barrel pin was stuck up in the body, and uh, the sharpness of that barrel pin got lodged in the body. It would keep the spring compressed up here. So what I had to do was actually take like a, um, a bobby pin, uh, a sharp uh, safety pin and poke it through the hole here to dislodge that barrel pin in order to push it out. Even mu so much so that when I was repinning it, I opted to whole, completely repin the whole thing instead of put the original pins in because no matter what I tried, no matter how much I shifted it up and down in there, <clears throat> that barrel pin would constantly get stuck in there. So it was something that was very interesting about this particular lock on the right that was not um, stamped US made. But there we go, uh, American Lock 5200s. Um, I believe the last one I had was pinned very easy as well because that's what I recall with them. Um, the 5200s were just really easy, fun to pick, and um, nice opens. Um, all right, everyone. Thanks for watching.